The Queen of the Locusts, Myra, was in fact a human. She led her army during the Locust War, and of course during the Lambent Pandemic. She would lead her people in an effort hoping to colonize the surface of Serra, and to destroy the Lambent threats in the Hollow. The means to the end would be the genocide of the human race. Her race. Professor Adam Phoenix would fail to find a way to destroy the Lambent, and this would seal their fate. Their paths would cross, and the war would break out. Due to her status over her subjects as the Queen, the Locust treats her with the utmost respect. They would die for her if necessary, and they would follow any and all command that the Queen may give. As mentioned, Queen Myra is in fact a human. During the early Pendulum Wars, almost a century before the Lambent Pandemic, the COG had established the New Hope Research Facility. This was to study the possible toxicity of emotion. Because of the discoveries made there, the facility was shut down, and the scientists, as well as a large number of test subjects, were forced to relocate to Mount Kadar. The test subjects and their discoveries were of course the Sires and the Locusts. Myra is a descendant of these scientists, and unlike the New Hope subjects, is completely human. It is thought that the emulsion exposure to miners led to their mutations into the inevitable locust. Myra's title of queen is self-given. It does not have any power related to royalty or genealogy. Nonetheless, the locust horde is devoted to their queen entirely. Myra, of course, resents humanity for forcing the locust underground after New Hope was shut down. The cog saw mutated, poisoned humans. Foul wretches, where Myra saw an evolved, stronger race. Through both fear and respect, she pushes her locust to take their rightful place as the dominant species on Serra. The cog, of course, covered up the existence of the sires, and of course the mutagenic effects of emulsion. However, it continued to affect the locust, and over the course of the next century, increasing numbers of locusts began to turn lambent. In the years before Emergence Day, General Ram shared his concerns with Queen Myra about losing the front to the Lambent. This, of course, being an internal civil war. With their people continually dying or becoming infected, Ram would inform Myra of his desired plan to emerge and colonize the surface, leaving the Lambent in the hollows and destroying the human race in the process. Ram would pair with Scourge and Khan to devise a plan that allowed the Lambent to advance in the hollows by purposefully withdrawing from the front lines. This would make Myra understand the futility of fighting the Lambent. With the Lambent Horde taking its toll on the Locust Horde, Myra became desperate. She devised a plan with Ram to invade and colonize the surface exterminating humanity and devastating the Lambent by flooding them in the hollows. This would leave the Locust Horde as the ultimate, undisputed apex race on Serra. However, Myra would give the humans a chance. Five years before Emergence Day and four years after Elaine Phoenix was killed, Queen Myra met Adam Phoenix, husband of Elaine and father to Marcus. Adam used his wife's journals, finding a path to the Locust. Of course, fearing the radical designs conceived by Myra and Ram, Adam, with the scientific knowledge and resources at his disposal, made a pact with Queen Myra to try and find a way to cure the Lambent infection. Of course, the trade-off would be that Myra must postpone her invasion of the surface. However, Adam's work ultimately would not be successful, and Queen Myra's hand was forced. Emergence Day would happen. Although Myra is human, she is entirely xenophobic towards her own species. She sees the human race as nothing but savages that only destroy, and that no matter how hard they may try, they will always be destined to destroy. On that premise, she ordered the genocidal assault on the surface of Serra, beginning on Emergence Day. She is intelligent and tactical. She knows when to listen to her subordinates, and she knows when to lead. Myra, again as mentioned above, is thought to be a descendant of the scientists who worked at the New Hope Research Facility. Her accent suggests that she is from the same region or nation as Dr. Niall Sampson. 
This potentially indicates some possible connection between them. Unlike the Locust, Myra is completely human. She was not affected by Adam's emulsion countermeasure device when it was activated, although she does consider herself a Locust. Unlike the rest of the Locust Horde and Locust females, Myra exhibits human-like qualities in her appearance and mannerisms. The most notable of which is the fact that she speaks Tyran fluently, unlike others in the Horde who only speak short phrases, which leads one to ponder who taught her this language. And due to her time in the Hollows, she has extremely pale skin. Queen Myra, to me, was always a fantastic addition to the series. I do think that the twist and turn between Marcus and Myra were both engaging and thought-provoking. But I will say this, when I played the games back in the day with a buddy of mine, I always thought Marcus was always going to be somewhat a cross between a locust and a human because of the bandana. Fairly sure that was a common theory among many people back in the day. And ultimately, when it all came to fruition and we found out that he was just a normal human, I was a little bit let down. But Queen Myra's end was a satisfactory one. And her legacy, of course, lives on in Gears of War 4. So what did you guys think to Queen Myra? Please do let me know all your thoughts down below in the comment section. And if you like what I do on the channel and you enjoyed this video, then please do give it a share and a thumbs up. And if you want to support me and what I do in my endeavors to entertain you guys, then check out my Patreon page via the link in the description box. As always, folks, I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I will catch you in the comment section.